Alright, first pistol round gonna come our way. We got quad armor coming out from CLG. JDM gonna pick up the support of nades, and then synergy. Got the same story. All right, I only have one spoke, and with one tech nine picked up too. Jason R gonna have body armor with that too, so he's getting bought up a little bit, which is always nice to see. It's fun to see. But the tap's already down mid. Fox is gonna get taken down by FNS, and that's not the way you want to start. And look at that Hayes going so aggressive, taking down Jason R up alt, and then oh Tarek, what is this? He's gonna go wild himself and take down Abe. So already just an aggressive start and just taking that advantage early on against Synergy. CLG gonna throw a wrench in the uh, gears already. Yeah, aggressive play. They don't. They're not giving him space to work with. They're just gonna out aim him, and that's the Woo! start. Hazed. What a nice flick shot on Arya. He got caught off guard as well. So nicely done by him. Down to a one on four. Just Davy with another one tap from Hazed. What a round from him. Three kills. Well, that's that's a hell of a way to start and put a bit of depression. Yeah, and the way that Pistron goes, I would expect a lot of that on the CT half, uh, on this first half of Inferno, is, is just CLG being aggressive, uh, not giving Synergy the space they want, you know, continuously put pressure on them. And that's going to help them run down the clock later on in the later on in the half. Oh, a little bit of <laughs> caught up on each other. Hayes getting blocked out a bit. And uh, we should see a quick three rounds here and, you know, Synergy. Their buy round's going to be important. And they're just going for a straight alt play. They didn't even pick up too many guns. They got P250s and some one tech nine. And oh, hey, he's gonna get dinked down, put to six. So that's yeah, a, they're gonna no head armor gonna, for him. They're gonna smoke off truck and do a flash over, and they're just gonna barrel out these halls. So it's gonna be a lot of a lot of work is gonna be on a cutler and JDM. Holding pit, holding sight. We'll see. They're gonna waterfall their way out of this uh, apartment here. That nade though gonna do so much damage. Cutler gonna find one. He's gonna look for a second as they drop out. JDM crossing up too. Jason R finds at least one kill. He's gonna look for a second here onto Hayes. He puts him down to three. There you go, gets the headshot. He's gonna get flanked out though and finesse from downtown with the MP9. A mid to short range gun being used from a long distance, not bad. Yeah, pretty clean round from CLG. Nice hauls hold. And that's that's a pretty uh, popular shot. Titan's been doing that a lot lately. And I think a lot of teams have started to kind of copy it off of him. You see it pretty frequently, so Cutler manages that pull very, very well. That that pit pole, the uh, storm pole. Pope, I believe it's called in Europe. The Pope? Alright. So, again, gonna be going up all, gonna make some noise, and I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if just CLG pushed up. Like, they have the gun advantage, they feel pretty confident already. You can see from their pistol round how strong they're looking. Flashes over, though, they're gonna smoke up, and they just come on through. JDM finds one, but they're getting traded back out. A really even trade, actually, and CLG gotta be a little scared. They do pick up some guns, flashes and smokes out, hazed. So is this M4, and they're gonna push right through the smoke. He finds one, he finds a second! Actually taking on Fox too. Davy, though, without armor, gets aim punched and Tarek will take him out. Yeah, so good good couple of rounds out of CLG. They lost two members in each one, but that's that's not too bad whatsoever. So now they're just gonna buy up here. Obviously, they've got uh, three Molotovs to start out on this first gun round, obviously five smokes for them, so uh, they're going to be able to block off these choke points very, very well, and, and that's something that Synergy is going to have to find success early. They can't let CLG build up too much of a bank. What's, what's counter terrorists can afford to continuously rebuy, you know, four or five Molotovs along with their smokes? It gets really dangerous, and now we're seeing a little bit of a triple push out of CLG. They're going to have three members over there just to stop any kind of banana push early on and rotate one off. They also did the uh, CT to bottom banana smoke, too. And that really deters a lot of aggression from Synergy, as they would they would like to take control of Benet if they could, but that just keeps them in their tracks. They have to wait for it to kind of dissipate, and there'll probably be one or two more smokes down there, if anything. And, uh, yeah, taking control of all. They're inching their way up apartments, too. And FNS is going to be more than happy to take this pit position. This is a really tough position to deal with unless you can find that single tap on the initial uh, peek out. So, again, going to be looking for a potential A take here with the bomb back at T, though. And they're playing the clock down pretty low. They gotta, they gotta worry about that. Yeah, they're also playing three towards the wrap side. Cutler oh. just transitioned over to the side. Hayes is gonna grab one. Oh yeah, try to spam through the smoke. Can't find anything, but they haven't been able to make their way up middle at all. So good defense thus far by CLG holding things off. And so much time is being used to spam through the smoke still. And Synergy can't really advance. They haven't cleared out this wrap side. Hayes with a pop flash, and there's Tarek spamming through. He's gonna pick up Arya. They still haven't moved anywhere towards the bomb site, so no ground is being gained by Synergy at the moment. Hayes jumping through the smoke, a nice pop flash, and this attack is entirely shut down. A flawless win for CLG in that round. All five members survive. Yep, triple kill for Hayes, double for Tarek, and that's all off just an arch hold and then a push. So four rounds definitively in a row for uh, Counter Logic Gaming, and Synergy, I... They don't have this energy right now. They're just not meshing together too well and can't really even find kills for themselves, so. Oh, you gotta be a little bit more subtle about it. I, 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 I tried. <laughs> I haven't been making too many puns. I've been holding back on them, but, uh. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe one or two more. We'll sneak out, but. 
Again, back onto pistols and just gonna go for some cheeky plays. There's an incendiary and nade just straight up and they're just pushing down mid from the CLG side and even wanting to be caught on alt here, Fox. Gonna get shot right in the back and that's the bomb down and alt. Yeah, look at that, just quick work of synergy right now. Jason R at least finds one nice headshot on the Tarek. He tries to turn around, but he'll get pinched and just suffocated. So the seventh man in Davy, he's in apartments. He'll see him peek out. Cutler gets that kill. There you go. Yeah, and this is just you know what I talked about on Pistar with all of them peeking like that. They're just gonna they're gonna know respect and they're gonna do those aggressive peeks and they're gonna try and get those early kills and really shut down attacks before they can begin. Uh, look for pretty much this entire half, I would imagine, and they're they're gonna force synergy to hit some shots and to push them back early, and they're gonna force synergy to earn their respect before uh, they start playing a little bit more intelligent. And it's a big wake up call. This is the first match of the season, and they're going up against the heaviest hitter of all. So. They gotta, they gotta get something going. Arya's got this op on stairs though, and no one's crossing. The CLG have been really, uh, you know, just definitive on their holds. They're not gonna push up too aggressively unless they know that they have the gun advantage. And now there's a dark hold coming in for the foreman and Hayes, and he's got some backup from Cutler just in case. And looking like they're going that way, but that Molly's gonna force out Hayes, and some steps are made, and Cutler can't find one. The defensive smoke from Hayes though will uh, deter them from pushing up any further. Yeah, it does some damage though, and he's got some information, so it's not not the end of the world. But smart play by Synergy, they they got that opening pick by taking over Hall's control. Then they just fall off it. They have a minute to work with, so not committing to anything, not giving back any frags right now. So good play from Synergy so far in this round. All right, here we go. JDM, he's got the op in his hand. This is Tarek's op too, holding towards truck, and nobody's pushing up. And they're gonna go for this B take. They're gonna try to execute in here. The bomb's already pushed up. Arya's by that. No cart. He gets smoked off once again, though. Oh, through the smoke! He heard the steps of FNS! And they're gonna push straight through this molly! This is their chance right now. They find Tarek and they take him out. So this B-side is open. A little bit of a trade. Now it's three on two. It's gonna be or a four save. on two, excuse me. Yeah, they're just flat out saving. And Tarek not prepared for them to just run through his Molotov like that. And a nice shot with that off. Was that through the smoke? I wasn't actually on yes, his Yes, that was the uh, smoke. Yeah, so great job by Arya. Gets that pick. So it's going to be the first round from Synergy in a, in, a, in a very nice round, like I said, just getting that opening pick into, into Halls and, and then falling off of it. And actually, CLG read it really well. Instead of spreading out the defense and trying to lean someone over towards A, they actually had a 2-2 two and two setup. So they had it they had it right. Just couldn't get, it, couldn't get the kills. So they're kind of looking to go hunting right now. JDM and Hayes have taken a comfy position in T apartments. And the closest one to them right now is A, but he doesn't want to risk it. So it seems CLG will be able to save these guns, but Synergy get the first round. And... A pretty strong gun round, too, from CLG to lose. So they'll rebuy up, and... Oh, Hayes actually has 11k, so... Yeah, they'll, they'll be okay for a little bit. It's no big deal. They had that they had that flawless, uh, flawless first gun round, so they got money behind this, and... I want. I think JDM looks like he wants to uh, peek mid with this op early on. Maybe go for that flash over the roof. He got he the good spawn. Go towards that side. Yeah, he, does, he did have a pretty good spawn, and he's going to pause here and line up this flashbang and just wait for it. He blown... Oh, he got the blind, but he missed it! Oh! Uncharacteristic, he missed the duel against Aria, or uh, Aria, <laughs> Aria, and, uh, alright, he backs off, he's gonna keep the angle there over to the Arch, and Apartments actually, you know, just being given up, they just keep the man towards Pit and Truck, and that's, that's really about it. Not surprising, it's not too yeah. surprising, but, you know. Well, they actually have this boost onto, onto the top of the uh, balcony right underneath these windows, and that could do some damage, it's a great angle looking down at Boiler for, for any kind of terrorist who just wants to swing over and spot something, but... Synergy, here's that hull take that they did last round. They're not going to find anyone here, but th this is something that look forward to them on their Terrace app doing pretty consistently is, you know, Halls is that is that area of the map that often gets ignored early on in the round. It's a place where Terrace can find some map control while other choke points are smoked off. So again, looking and listening for these pushes. 40 seconds left on the clock, though, so time's being played out pretty aggressively. And let's go. 40 seconds since the clock and Now they're looking to push out a little bit. They smoke and oh, just shooting at the regular angle someone would be at. Cutler gets headshot and he's got to be a little frustrated by that. Yeah, Davey just having that angle down through the smoke. Nicely done by him. Gets the opening pick. So again, they get that kill and they're just going to fall right back towards B again. Terex out of uh, counter grenade. So is FNS. No nades actually except for Hayes. Terex got so Oh, actually they come back and they come up mid. JDM grabs one. Hayes grabs another. Hayes spraying out a third in. Nicely done by him, a good hold, and he grabs a fourth, so fantastic hold by Hayes. Jason R whiffing on the end there. Hayes, just phenomenal spray control, picks up another AK too when he's out of ammo, and... Yeah, that's... Hayes is looking really good tonight, he's 12-1 and one currently. Like, he is fragging out of his mind, almost a 16k, and, uh... Yeah, we're, we're seeing a strong CLG tonight. So, we hit the 8th round, 
Synergy Gaming still can't find too much. Arya still has an AWP in his hand, though, and... I mean, he's got to take down one of the two, at least. He gets JDM, though, in mid, who goes for a peek once again. He's been doing this every round now, and he finally pays for it. I don't think he expected them to have an AWP this round. I, you know, after they, they won one and then lost one, I think he yeah. expected them to be a little bit lower on economy, and Arya catches him off guard there. So let me go up mid, taking this bomb up, throw it over to Fox, and... A two-man pit hold, actually, from Hayes and Cutler. Well, kind of. One on truck, but... Let's see, they try to attempt to go to B here. Tarek finds Abe and... Yeah, yeah, nice, nice play from CLG there. A pop flash to kind of try and equalize. You know, and, and if they don't get a kill, though, they at least scout the information. So a little bit more to work with. The only issue with this setup at the moment is no one is spotting rap whatsoever. So the B players are kind of all on their own. Davey's creeping up apartments, too. Hayes and Cutler both holding this position here in pit. If one of them gets taken out, the other one could lurk and maybe look to listen for a planter. Smoke coming in, though, and... They're just inching their way up right now. This AWP is in hand, and Arya takes down Haze. I'm wondering if Cutler can play this position. Davey's just using the smoke to his advantage and just peeking out towards uh, Arches right now in Library. Arya, can he get a third? This would be absolutely a huge round for him if he could. FNS is going to peek, and he gets it. Takes his shoulder out. Cutler in Pitt's position is given up, and there you go. Synergy should be able to take this second round for themselves. Yeah, a lot, a lot put on the Cutler's shoulders there, unfortunately, and... Gets one. It looked good to start with, but a really nice take by Synergy. So when they're getting these, when they're getting this opening pick, even though it got equalized there, they're playing it very, very smartly afterwards. Very slow and calculated on this uh, on this map so far in rounds where they get that opening pick. And Terex is going to be set to save. They should be able to buy this next round just off the back oh, of. Has, uh, Hayes has 15k. So yeah, he yeah. Can, he can drop for days. Yeah, he'll be able to get at least two rounds for his team. So not too worried on that aspect. But two rounds for Synergy. They want to make this half. You know, at least six to seven, and give him the strongest possible chance at CT. So bomb blows. Their economy's looking okay, and yeah, CLG. That was a interesting take on their positioning in A. Like two pit didn't work out too well, specifically since the man in dark just got eliminated by Arya, or holding behind the pole. Yeah, and it was a little bit. It was. I mean. Double pit like that and at that position just yeah overexposed the timing unfortunate that Arya just scoped up there and was, and was waiting for it so yeah that was a big kill because if you're gonna play if you're gonna sacrifice the rap side like that and play double pit I, I mean you can't lose you can't lose that second player in there obviously it's just it's just far too detrimental and JDM's learned his lesson from last time not gonna peek up against Arya Arya and now Arya's gonna go aggressive I wonder if he's gonna actually try to peek this left side arches. Oh, he's inching his way up. He gets smoked. He actually goes aggressive. Ooh, tries to go for a blind fire. But, okay. Take a passive once again. Synergy wants to look for these picks. Let Arya do his thing. He's feeling it right now. And that he actually gets naded. Ooh. Just landed on his head. Nicely done by JDM doing some initial damage there. And I'm, I'm kind of a fan of actually taking some apartments control. At least on the CT side, but uh, just giving it up fully. CLG are confident in their pit and well, it's, it's not something it's not something you want to commit to because you sacrifice a lot on your mid hold so, mm. so they tried it that one round they got beat they'll, they'll go back to it later on but they're going to give some time in between it all right try to catch a synergy off guard so we got the bomb inching its way up mid smoke's ready to go on arches and here they come raining out they're looking to execute here they do smoke truck they're gonna get counter smoke themselves actually and this is just a whole plethora of smokes right now Killer's listening, he wants to take this man out of apartments, and Hayes is on an unusual spot, you wouldn't really look here when you're pushing this corner. So he spots Fox, yeah, there you go. And takes one out. They're flashing, they're going up truck still though, not giving up on this push. Arya leaving the charge with his AWP, he actually gets hit a little bit. Abe, they're walking through the fire, they're showing no fear, but... This is payoff. Davy and Abe go big with two kills, Abe is gonna find a second one actually for himself, and now it's a two on two. With this A take, just, they bully their way in, there was only five seconds left on the clock, so... Very close timing for them. That's a defense that that CLG should have just they should have didn't annihilated that attack with the clock running down, them running through fire like that, and just some great frags by Synergy. I, I, I honestly don't know how they turned that around because all the positioning was in favor of CLG, but now on this two on two retake, Tarek is leaking out halls. He does grab one. Woo, so big Davey's round from Davy. Two from the pit. He's going to take out Tarek and FNS in lane. So that's a good win from Synergy right there, and he's even going to salvage the upper Arya. That was a huge round from Davy as well as Abe. They were the big proponent, fa uh, big factors to winning that round, and the police are coming. So I'm gonna turn off my mic. <laughs> it's like you're playing GTA over there. Yeah, I'm just uh, tabbing out of my uh, other screen, playing GTA at the same time. <laughs> so. so with the economy that they built up so much, uh, CLG, they're gonna be able to buy again. They force it up. 
FNS has got a pistol. They've got two Famas and, and, and two Colts. So, interesting to see how they decide to manage this low economy. So, if and they lose this one, they're put onto the hard eco, right? Yeah, they're stuck on pistols. Yeah, but the important thing is they're continuing to be able... They found ways to continue to buy while this losing bonus builds up. Obviously, you don't want it to, but, mm -hmm. you know, you, you can buy until you get that three-round losing bonus and you don't have to save twice in a row so they have a chance to do a lot of damage to the economy of synergy which is very very weak because of how close these rounds have been uh and then moving forward it's it's much easier to break it so here we go looking like again they're gonna play mid that smoke actually i've never seen that one before does that what is does that hit ct wait hold on let me actually find this that actually bounces to sport to spools wow Okay, and so here's this bracket control that they did earlier, but passive setup from CLG, 45 seconds left on the clock, they're gonna make their way up lane. Oh, Molly and Pit, we got Cutler fine on the first kill, and Jason R, JDM's gonna peek with the Swamas, catch Arya scoped up, he's gonna get a second onto Abe, get a third through the smoke on a Davy, and that's the a-hole we usually expect to see. And now Fox, yeah. uh, getting juked and jived by the P250 of FNS. Yeah, and a really good hold by CLG. One thing they're doing very, very well over at that A bomb site, and it's, it's mostly Cutler that I've noticed, is uh, you know they're holding a smoke, and when these hits come in, they, they just smoke off halls. And and part of the reason why it's so effective is it's only Davy uh, in the side of Synergy that's really lurking these halls. So when it's one player, you know you don't you can't really be super confident and, and bust out of the smoke because you have no one to trade with, and you give up that positioning. So it pretty much just eliminates him from these attacks. It's it's kind of like getting a man advantage without actually getting a kill. So it's nice managed by CLG. Alright, so we got Fox here. Oh, we're gonna get naded down. Oh, he just barely juked away from the second one. Arya, Arya, there's 7 HP. Yeah. So he's behind the logs there to spray down a little bit. Tarek just lining them up to get in a quick double. He's got the backup there from FNS. But that's gonna be a clean round. Easy round for the uh, CLG side. So we're gonna make it 8-3. to three. And Synergy, at least want to get 5. No, to just bring it to the half. They pick up a kill, David gets one, but FNS responds right after. Oh, uh, yeah, they'd be happy with 5. Especially after starting starting 0 and 5, that'd be that'd be great to get to. Alright, so two more is the name of the game for Synergy. If not more, I'm sure they'd be more than happy to take it. But Double Goalier is also four spot here, actually. Hmm. So. And mo most of the success that, that Synergy's had uh, in this half has come off, you know, even though even when they get equalized, it's it's getting that opening pick, and they don't have an op to do it with this round. Arya only on a Galil didn't have the money for it, so they've got to find some other way. And and like you said, you mentioned earlier that CLG's not playing in these halls at all. They've kind of gone away from that, so that's another opportunity that Synergy, who's like to take the hall control as Terrace on their defaults, hasn't been able to do anything. And this three-man stack B man has been really holding Jason R and Abe off. Abe peeks up though, only gets one, and it's another two-for-one trade. And they're coming up boiler now. They flashbang their way in. Can they find the kill? Yes, they do. Fox takes down Hazed. And that's gotta be a tell that there's only one more left A here, so he has to help the mass nades over there towards that B bomb site or B banana. And this creep up too. Arya's gonna get so much information here as he pushes on up. And they're gonna rotate the bomb B. CLG yeah, just a little committed to A. Yeah. Well, there's still a smoke down, so it's going to delay him, and Cutler kind of reads the situation perfectly, and he gets back into that B-bomb site for anything can come. And he's going to, Arya's going to try and fake this by throwing a uh, spawn smoke, and it looks like he almost wants to run in with it. But he's just lurking it at the moment while the bomb makes its way up mid, so, but you can see that kind of the lean that, that CLG has. They're already rotating actually over towards B because they hear the footstep. JDM spots one on the wrap side, pulls out the op, can't he missed get the flick. shot, so his teammates got to bail him out. That's FNS, he does get one kill, but they... So I think the attack's coming in at B, and that's going to give a plan away to Davy. so nicely done by Synergy to at least get that bomb down, but now Davy's in a tough spot, having to clutch out a 1-on-2 with only 22 HP. Let's see. Back at Pit. He's looking to peek up, tries to get FNS out, and they should be able to pinch him if they walk up in time. So FNS here, he's going to peek, and there you go. Takes down Davy and gets the defuse, and that'll put it 9-3. to three. So Synergy still have a chance here to, to snag up two rounds if they can, but that force buy should have put him on an eco even with the plant. Hey, you know, uh, yeah. it's kind of curious. One thing I, I didn't really like out of that by Synergy is they threw that they threw that fake at B, which is used to, they wanted to pull at least one. They got both uh, CLG members at A to lean towards B, and then they went towards the wrap side. So if you're pulling rotators off of that A bomb site, and then you head towards where they're rotating to, it, it kind of defeats the purpose. And, and obviously, we have the benefit of actually seeing the minimap. They don't know that the yeah. A bomb site was completely clear, but, you know, if you go towards that lane side, uh, then, uh, then you just, you have to clean out the bomb site, obviously, still, but there was no one there whatsoever. So again, they're going for this three stack here to Banana, and it's it's gotten a couple kills every time so far, so why not stick with it? 
And back on the Technet armor. They're not getting hit armor though, so they're, I guess, being a little lenient with their money. But still trying to win. So they actually end up finding one kill onto Hayes. Arya gets a big one there, and they actually force back Tarek, who's going to take this uh, position behind the bags. He's going to look to peek out, jumping up. <laughs> Arya's just caught completely off guard. Tarek gets a double, but can't deal with any more men, so he'll get taken down. Well, FNS finds a kill out of Jason R. They smoke the incendiary, and this B take is just done. The camera was going absolutely crazy, though, just following a dead body, but uh, Counter Logic Gaming just making quick work of their CT half. Yeah, and that was that was good recovery by by CLG uh, Tarek getting behind that sandbags and Synergy trying to press the issue, but the rotates had already come in. So even though they lost that player initially, Tarek slows them down enough to let the rotations come in. So nicely done by them. And now, and now you're exactly right. I mean, you said they wanted those five rounds. They have two rounds to get it. So we're gonna have to see what their plan of attack is from here because they haven't had much success in the last four or any success in the last four. Nope. And I think I think the way to winning is just keep taking apps control like. Every time they've been able well, to use it so well. Pick. There's yeah. that pick that they've, they've been successful with, and now they're going to push the issue very, very quickly. Coming Ooh. in through the smoke, catch Cutler off guard. One player inside the bomb, so that's Hayes. He's got a lot of work to do. He blinds him. He gets one. He's going to swing out a little bit longer. Can't get the kill. He's going to throw that same flash. He's going to wait it out. Now he's going to be gets another one. Great play what by Hayes. Slowing down. And this is Davy still being delayed behind that smoke. The teammates, the rotations finally come in. Brings it down into a one-on-one, -on -one, which Arya wins. So nicely managed by Synergy. Constant stream of bodies being thrown at it by CLG. Arya is JDM's kryptonite right now. JDM hasn't been able to pick him the past few rounds. So, uh, just taking advantage of that, pushing up mid. And, alright, this is their chance to make it to 10-5. Then they need to take the pistol and just ride the momentum wave from there. So, JDM goes back to the AWP. I want to see where he peaks mid. Uh, if he does that. Yeah, he's going to go back to Arches, actually. A little bit of a late peak to Arches, but... Not not wanting to fold Arya again. Like, I, I gotta get props to... Arya there. Doing well as a stand-in too. So Tarek is going to get boosted up here in this B-bomb site and they're not going to go for the three-man stack this time. No mass nades out and Abe's going to inch his way up and take it. Davey in the meantime though going to get taken out by Cutler who's looking through a sliver in apartments and that's the first time they've actually like solidly defended that. Or kept close yeah, to apartments well, at least. Well, they, they, they've preferred in the past to just keep it smoked off during hits so he yeah. hasn't really had a lot of opportunity there and that's that time he just gets fooled a little bit so Nice opening kill by CLG, and now look at three members for Synergy are all grouped up over towards B, and this pretty much makes a B attack their only option. They have no map control anywhere else. They don't, you know, they don't have the players to kind of come back, and, and they don't have the time anymore to, to come back towards mid and grab it and, and push up somewhere, so they're just going to be stuck behind the smoke at B for a little bit. All right, so again, looking to peek up to B. Abe holding the cubby, Jason R, ready to go. Nades-wise, they do have mollies and smoke, so this take can work. Cutler is being kept uh, kept over to A, and they're actually still triple over to A. No one's rotated out just yet, and Cindy is going to keep him busy as everything flies on over. Tarek's still in this boost spot. Get able to catch one off guard, and that's Abe. He's going to get a second on the Jason R. And this B take is just looking like it's done. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's been entirely shut down. Arya's the only one left over there. Fox is trying to get something going to mid. He does get a headshot, but somehow Arya's kind of snuck past Tarek. He gets one kill at Tarek. can find it. So, so Arya's inside the bomb site trying to get this bomb planted. He has to plant it. And he's got a little bit of space to work with, but Tarek takes him down immediately, so that got a little bit weird there for a second, but CLG's going to close out the half at 11-4 to 4 with that last round. Alright, so, did what he could. It's going to swap the halves, and, uh, I got to go to pay IP real quick. Alrighty. So now, here, here's the trouble, especially with two stand-ins, you know, Where's the chemistry going to be on the CT side? Because you're going to need that to overcome the, the talent on CLG. You're going to you're going to need to find crossfires and setups where you can get those opening picks and you can get those kills. And with two stand-ins, it's going to be it's going to be a lot tougher. So Arya's going to have to continue his his nice work that he's been doing with the AWP or with, really with any gun at getting that opening pick for his team. Yeah, Arya's been such a key, uh, key factor right now. But here we go, second half here of Synergy versus CLG in the ESL ESCA Pro League, and this time no no mass armor stacks actually, just two armor for the Synergy side, and we'll see what they can do. CLG already bundled up here towards Alt Mid, and this could be a strong take. They have smoke and flash. Everybody else is bar body armored up, so flashbang over, smoke and response. Hayes is gonna be leading the charge there with Tarek, and they just go huge. They take down Fox. They know there's one up on the balcony, and Color he inches way around Rap, so. What's he going to find is the question. They're in sight right now. Hayes just demolishes Abe, and he's been on point this entire game. 
as Arya tries to sneak into the smoke to try to tap him down with FNS, but Davey finds the first kill, or second kill, excuse me, with Jason R, and oh, they actually push out of apartments, this is doable, Davey goes huge right now with this P2K, Cutler's gonna get flanked out, he gets Molly too, and oh my god, Synergy, they take that first round, that was crucial they take that. Yeah, what a hold, and so many CLG players after the, after the, uh, after they got those entry frags and got the bomb planted, they were stuck in the bomb site still. And actually, synergy three members coming from basically three different angles. Davy wins that battle in halls, and from there he, he's just got you know an easy shot into the bomb site on multiple members who are stuck inside there. So no one able to recover and get into pit to, to gather that halls flank. But a nice round from synergy hitting some really really nice shots there. I don't know. I hyped up Davy a little bit at the uh, pre-game discussion, and he did pretty well there. So we'll see if we can keep it going. They actually pick up an M4 and. Time and time again, I've seen this backfire ridiculously to the Tech 9. But uh, they're kind of banana stacked up right now, held off by a bit of a smoke. And, I don't know, smoke, but they're just kind of held off by an incendiary, so. Nade's out. Is Cutler going to take that one to the dome? Another nade, actually, too. It is, it, is a, it is a full buyout of CLG, especially with Molotov. So they want to get close up onto this B bomb site. They want to do a Molotov execute, you know, mollying off triple boxes, mollying off, you know, oranges and second oranges. And they want to be able to clear those spots out as they enter into the bomb site. And. They're setting up for it right now. Synergy is giving them a lot of space to work with. Here we go. This is a big hold for them. If they lose this round, all momentum is just gone. So Molly's out. The two man in Aria is going to have to back off. He's got that MP7. He's burning alive right now. He doesn't know it because he's blind and he's just going to die. Oh no. In front of Grill, Tarek's is going to push up. He heard the glass guy over there. Jason R. He's going to get chased down by Tech Nines. Molly down as well. He gets caught in the back of the head. Tarek donkey punches him. It's now. Bob is down, and the retake is on for Synergy. How do they do this? Oh, right inside the flash. Oh, Fox is right next to FNS. He was just blind, though. And CLG, it looks like they've gotten this round of the pop in their hands. Yeah, this is pretty much an impossible round for Synergy to win. That was a great execute, and are you burning alive while blind? I mean, that was crucial, so... Davey's got to just save this hole. I mean, he, he got to kill there, but these, these kills really don't matter all that much, so he's just got to get away, make sure he doesn't lose that. So they at least cleared up some frags and uh, take down a few members of CLG, but they got the round. That's the more important thing. FNS actually takes the M4 away from Davey. Oh, huge loss there, and Davey doesn't get any money. Oh, he's so broke. Everybody's so broke from the Synergy side. Yeah, that, that's that's just a, that's just an inexperienced error. There, you, you, those kills did not matter whatsoever. You get away and you save that gun. So uh, that's really that's really unfortunate. That's like a kick in the gut. That's a heartbreaker. So now, Counter Logic will see how they can keep the momentum going themselves. Four actually towards mid right now. Two going up apartments. And uh, looking at these quick peeks out. Tarek and JDM doing some work as they pick up two for ones. Then this eco for Synergy is just not going to go their way. Davey's stuck in apps at 20 health and Abe's stuck up mid. So that should be 13 5. And it seems that CLG just get firm grasp after taking that eco win. Yeah, uh, definitely, and, and you know, that, that, that pistol win for Synergy gave him a little bit of hope, gave him some breathing room, and it just gets taken away, so they're actually going to be forced, it looks like, into a buy here. Abe just bought a Colt, so Arya's picking up a, a shotgun, and the rest of them have to follow suit. But it's a severely depleted arsenal on the side of Synergy. Only one kit. Uh, they only have one smoke as well. So in a map, we're delaying attacks. We're smoking off choke points. And, and where CLG did it wonderfully in the first half, especially over towards those A-Halls. I mean, they don't have a lot of it to work with. So here we go again. Going to be looking to go towards apartment CLG. Feeling confident. Got themselves one pushing up. That nade actually goes through the wood and hits Davey for 64. He's going to be kind of scratching his head as where the hell that came from. But, uh... Yeah, that's that's not looking too good for Synergy anymore. And with this one person in dark, you know, Davy can catch them off guard. I believe they saw him go in though, so. Yeah, they know. They're spraying him through the wall right now. FNS is gonna lead the charge up, cleans up the kill, gets shot in the back, and it yeah, seems that's Fox, Fox had to get that trade. That setup was designed for Fox to get basically an easy kill and he misses it. And it almost looks like he wants to go right back at it. Terra getting into a battle with Arya over towards B. Pop flash from Fox. He's gonna look to B, keep full blinds FNS, but just can't get the kill. Oh man, Arya gets taken down by Tarek, and he tried to pop flash, but just didn't work, man. Jason R is left alone here at this people. I'm like, can he actually hold it is the question? No. He's forced back out to go construction. And he's gonna hold. Or maybe just look to save, honestly, just bring it to the next round. That's that's their best chance of winning if they can save it up. 
Oh, he gets oh two. Lord. He gets two headshots like that, just sliding back to Thomas. So he puts it into a winnable situation. Now some some blind luck coming out for Synergy to bail him out and put him back into the round. It's going to be a retake. They're not out of it quite yet. Fox does okay. have a kit, but he's actually see the one kit is going up banana. He's flanking, so his kit's out of play if he dies here. So smokes out. Cutler's going to actually catch Fox off guard, and that's the kit, like the you kit. said. The worst case scenario here. Shots coming in. They know he's coming from construction. Jason R. Gonna get delayed by this flash and hazed. Just gonna be holding him perfectly off. And oh, what? What a headshot onto Jason R. And that's what looked like a good potential win from Synergy. Is this off deck? That's it. I mean, you could see as soon as as soon as he went down with the kit and banana, they they just completely started falling off. You know, there was it's just a default win once that kit goes down, and they still had smokes blocking off their choke point. They had to wait a little bit longer, and because they didn't have that defuse kit with them, they just they had nothing they could do, even if they get the kills. So. A little I'm bit of a mistake there and around that Jason R brings him back into it miraculously. Yeah, I'm just in awe right now at Hayes playing so damn well and felt like the scoreboard, like he's on top. Twenty eight and eight. Like yeah, he's, he's playing, playing so well. very, very well. Tarek as well, twenty two and eleven, so those two guys have had a have had a great match and Cutler doing his work quiet but efficient. That's what he's known for. And look at this stack over towards Ace. Synergy's got a pretty good read. I mean, this is a, this is a save round. They didn't buy up. They didn't force or anything. But they do have three players over towards the lane side, the truck side, and one towards Rap. So they have a nice crossfire set it up set up here. And they're just gonna push out of apartments right now. There's two. To mm. There's actually two towards balcony right now. But they take out one. They take out the one in sight. And Fox. I don't think they have any ideas up here. He's gonna look to peek out with the CZ. Takes down the bomb. Looking for more. Gets too aggressive, and uh, will fall. So Abe is the last man standing, and this is gonna be the. Match point for uh, Chronology Gaming. Yeah, and they should go hunting right now. They don't know he has a gun, of course, but. No reason not get to, really. There's so much time left, and they're just going to slow squeeze him, so they're not pressured into running. They're going to see if he's coming for it at all. But it's all going to be on FNS, who's kind of clearing out the truck or the car over at Banana now, and they're, they're just going to pinch him slowly but surely, and Abe's in a very, very difficult spot to hold here. All right. He'll see them coming up, and Tarek's just too quick. Takes the headshot, and now we're at game point. So, CLG looking strong, CT and T side. And haven't given up a round on T side yet. Their aggression's working well, their executes are going pretty well themselves. Oh, no, they lost that pistol. Oh, yeah, that's right there. They lost that one. They went 11 4, I forgot. They lost that one. The one. The one T round. And then took it from there. So, this is the best chance that Synergy have it looking for a potential tie, but. Looking unlikely with how well CLG are playing right now. Yeah, and now another format stack over towards over towards A, and, and Jason R gets naded out. I mean, the, you're the solo player at B. There's no reason you should really be there to begin with. So, uh, you know, if he dies, obviously they won't know it's a solo player, but you just throw your your, your rotations in all sorts of a loop. So he gets brought down to 40 for no reason. And they're going for banana potential fakes here. Smokes out, blocking them up, and actually they're full committed up. They're gonna look to execute here, maybe go for the molly flash combo again. Hayes wanted to go for the peak. He wanted to be so aggressive. They might molly out triple, but they don't have. Uh, they only have one molotov to work with, so it's not gonna be that same execute. They just gotta be careful. They know that ops in the corner. They gotta be careful of that. Smoke comes out late. Through the smoke. Arya gets another one through the smoke, and he stands his ground inside of it, just trying to connect, but he's not able to. Jason R takes one down. ADM trades about, and the B bomb site is CLGs and. That's Arya just saying a little bit too long, trying to be a little bit too clever. Abe's going to push up. He's going to be able to gain control of Garden. Recovers his aim nicely there, but it is going to be a three-on-two retake, and Fox and Abe are so, so low. Let's see if the retake is on. The nades are out. Cutler put down a 16. JDM at 100. Abe is already up Garden, and going to be pushing these spools soon. He finds Cutler underneath the fountain, and they take down JDM. So the fuse is going to come out, and all right, Synergy hang on by a thread, but still one round, and that's it. CLG take it. But at least they got plant money, so they can they can buy into this next round. Yeah, well, I mean they have they have so much. Yeah, they're money. plenty rich. He has 10k. Color has 13k, so uh, they weren't going to be hurting on money either way. But it is nice to keep that plant up just to get that bonus money. And and importantly as well, I mean, the economy on, on synergy side is is not strong whatsoever. So they're gonna they had to drop two guns here. Jason R still needs a weapon, and so still beating up the economy a little bit further. And it doesn't really matter so much because they're on map point, but. You know, even if they start to win these rounds, losing a lot of players, eventually they're going to force into a situation where they have to buy a little bit light. And here we go. Uh, CLG, full AKs. JDM, he's not really t offing which is interesting. Arya was very aggressive on his t off but JDM not so much. So, 
Nades come out and Tarek actually dies to that one. Wow, that was just right in the face. And pushing right up, Cutler directly across from him. That door is actually, I believe, bangable. Uh, if they wanted to, if they even knew that Fox was there, but he's just holding that position and this could catch him off guard. This is a play that they haven't seen yet. Smoke's ready on over, looking to go for this execute. They smoke up Truckside, and as they push out, FNS and Cutler are going to go through JDM as well. The bomb has been shown, and then Abe takes a shot on FNS. Fox as well. They have no idea where he is because of the Silence M4. And... Alright, A push denied, to say the least. And they're going to try to mosey on over to Banana and take B, but that, that seems unlikely. And this round should be lost from CLG. But 2 on 5, this is this is doable. I've seen CLG do this before. Hayes has been on point, but Jason R takes on JDM, and then Arya for the flawless round takes down Hazed. So, not too bad. Not too bad. Good holds so far. Yeah, uh, that's the kind of win they needed to get the economy. If they want if they want a shot at making this uh, making this comeback, they need to keep this economy going strongly. The unfortunate thing is CLG might never might never have to save it. You know, if even if they keep losing and uh, like they're going to be they're buying through this through this losing bonus building up. I talked about it in the first half, so, you know, they're, they're not, they might not even have to save, especially if they get a plant. Right, so that's the, that's, that's the scary part for Synergy at the moment. And the scary part is they're one round away from losing. But, uh... There's that too. That definitely <laughs> doesn't hurt. And so they're just riding uh, on the fear. And Arya's been fantastic at getting opening picks for, for, for Synergy. You know, it hasn't really come into fruition, obviously, at a 7 to 15 scoreline, but he's gotten a lot of opening picks for him, so... They've got to be very wary about attacking him over towards B. And look at him pushed up. He has an Ooh. aggressive angle. There it is again. Picks off JDM. They were not expecting that kind of an aggressive angle down Banana. I like the aggressive ops, honestly. Arya's been going for it quite a bit, and it has bit him in the butt quite a bit, but at the same time, it's worked out in some really clutch scenarios, or situations. But, all right, here we go. Holding apps, looking for pushes. Synergy not going anywhere near that. Pulling a CLG on CLG and just giving it up. Taking more defensive positions, all four members currently toward the A site. And how many nades they got? They got plenty of nades to execute over here. So smokes are gonna be coming out. Fox is gonna actually incendiary boiler. Oh, okay. So that forces that push to not happen, and Tarek doesn't want to run through this. Arya still holding defensively. He heard the jump, and he just peeks immediately. Tarek is just insane with his situational play. And now coming in Davy through the smoke with Fox actually. Picking up huge kills there. Fox goes big with a double, and Davey's still holding pit. They have no idea he's there. FNS getting shot in the back. The bomb plant's gonna come in. Cutler's gonna at least get them some money and try to clutch this one out one versus three. But no, he's gonna burn. He's gonna fall, and Jason gets it. So they gotta wait for the Molly to dis dissipate, and there you go. Eighth round over to Synergy. Yeah, a uh, nice defensive hold from them there. Uh, definitely with Davey playing so patiently in the pit, not really exposing himself. Once all the battle cleared and they had the bomb site, he just peeked out, was able to grab one or two more. So, good play by him. Just one more kill from him there, but synergy showing a little bit of life here. And I think this is where actually I thought that CLG was just going to save, but apparently they they feel like they've done a lot. And uh, I mean, they've. I'm not sure why they're buying here, but they are going to buy up. It is going to be a little bit of a lighter buy. They have AKs and they have some Galils with very light, or a little, they have, they have some players with strong utility, but overall they, they could have waited one more round and, and had a much, much stronger buy. Would they possibly be thinking like, alright, we can we can give up this buy, even if we lose this, we can wait like two more rounds? I, I know that they have a big lead, but you don't, you don't want to give about, up too much. It's all about buying through that losing bonus, so it's, uh, they're, they're, doing, it, they're doing it pretty good here. Alright, well, here we go. Apartments again, left in the control of CLG and... Oh, that smoke. Ooh, Abe was so lucky he got away with that. Nade coming in though is going to do some serious damage. The incendiary out as well. And then peek in the corner. Abe takes down Cutler. It's one of the first times he's been able to do that. And then a burn kill actually coming in from Fox on the JDM. So, again, another mid play that just doesn't work. And then Jason R. Tapping away, gets the kill. Yeah, no, no trade kills, importantly, for CLG here. So they're, they're attacking both sides of mid, but players are going down and they're not getting any kind of response. There's Tarek finally chiming in. Smoke to stop this molly, and Tarek left alone with FNS. And it doesn't seem like they can break through right now. They're, they're hitting a bit of a roadblock, honestly, and they'll be eco next round, which should guarantee at least 10 for Synergy. So that's that's looking good. Well, this, this has been a problem from CLG for a while, is you know they need to get those opening picks because their trading is not very strong. So when you see them lose these initial battles, they, they kind of struggle after that on their T-sides. And it's kind of what's coming into play right now. But they have an opportunity here where Arya has an AWP. His teammate's far away. They blind him and they push him back. So they're going to have an opportunity to get into this B bomb site. 
All right, Jason Arlo responds, takes down FNS, and Tarek's the last man standing. He's clutched before, but this is a tough order to fill. He takes out Arya, but five seconds left on the clock. He's forced to retreat, save his AK, and just get the hell out of there. So 9 to 15 is going to be your scoreline for now, and CLG, this has been the uh, fourth round they've lost in a row now. So a little bit of traction for Synergy now, as CLG actually could force up if they really wanted to, but I no, doubt they want to do it again. Yeah. FNS does pick up some utility. They do get some light pistols, so they have a plan of action and execute they want to do on this on this uh, little bit of a buy here. Oh, okay. So, I, I I feel like this should just be an aggressive B take, no? But yeah, waiting for the pushes to get naded out a little bit, and I gotta say the nades have been on point for synergy. But Arya gonna fall to Tarek, who puts that AK to use from the last round, and that's a huge entry to get. Arya's been a big big hindrance to CLG right now. Maybe yeah, that, that's that, that's nice by CLG too. A lot of a lot of times you see teams on you know with players with pistols, they have an AK and some and some tech nines behind it, and they get a little antsy with those tech nines. Let the AK lead the way. Terra gets that opening pick for him, and they salvage the AWP uh, for JDM. So now they've now they're in a pretty solid situation. The defense is split in a two and two, and it almost looks like they want to run a little bit of a B fake here. Hmm. Making some noise over to A though. They could try to sell this and force it over rotation to synergy. It'd be a very, very easily sold kind of situation, but Synergy not giving up their positions, not looking to peek out, and just keep holding their corners. That's all they need to do right now. Flashes and smokes all over to B, and that's forcing the five-man and Abe to actually rotate out. Uh-oh. He's going to come back, though. He actually heard some steps, I believe. Or actually just got the call for it. Hayes is going to be pushing in. He catches the guy on balcony, and that's Davey. This is all but over for Synergy. Is the comeback dream dead? What do we got? Abe still holding over to Arches. The bomb plant should be coming out. Yep, Tarek's gonna get that one. Yeah, that one uh, tiny flank pulled pulled the defense away from away from the Abe bomb site. Gets him in basically for free. And there's Abe going down. Teammates aren't quite there yet. And now it's gonna be a tough retake for Fox and Fox and Jason R here. Jason R trying to come up middle. FNS is still in alt mid with that AWP chimes in. Fox yep. can't do anything as he comes sliding over the box and Hayes takes him out. So that's gonna be the match.